Hello, I am Terrell Frazier. I am the Director of Education and Outreach for the Columbia Center for Oral History. Uh, and my role here um, at the center is really twofold. Um, one component is to make people more aware um, of the center uh, at, the at both the university and uh, the community at large. Um, we are uh, the oldest and largest uh, Center for Oral History with an archive of over 8,000 pieces in our collection. And so really I see my role as not only making people um, aware of that archive and the diversity of projects that live within it, um, but drawing people into the center um, and particularly in the community. You know, we have a, a vibrant, we're situated in a very unique space, I think, uh, being in New York City being in Harlem, being at Columbia, we have access to all these community organizations, you know, around us. And what what I've found is that reaching out to people through social media and traditional communications is really only one piece of creating um, sustained engagement. You know, I can do the kind of the elevator pitch about what the center is to community organizations, but I think the more important piece is connecting them to, to the center in a way that shows what value, not only that we can bring to them, but that they bring to us, you know, that they're teaching us, um, you know, by t not only telling us about their mission, but informing our work. And in turn, you know, we, we inform theirs through the teaching of the oral history methodology and kind of giving people the tools through workshops and all the public events that we do, but what what is it, what's unique about their their communities that, um, that really grow our archive? And I think that, you know, reaching out to, to communities is, is unique uh, when reaching out to community organizations such as the Women's Media Center or Picture the Homeless or the Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Defamation, people who are already doing movement work, uh, but what is it about t the telling of stories that, that really moves people? Having been worked in uh, the LGBT movement um, for about six years, I, I think I know the importance of stories and, and listening to people and, and, and really how capturing those moments in history not only can inform the work that, that we're doing, but global movements. Um, and I think that capturing those intellectual histories and capturing the histories and stories of the people you're advocating for is something that I really try to, uh, to tell people I'm reaching out to, uh, really emphasize the importance of that and the work that you know, we do at the center in capturing those stories and how we want to help them do the same and how that can inform their work. So, um, yeah, that's that's one piece uh, of the work I do here, but I think it's a really important piece and one that I've been excited to be doing. So, the, the ultimate result would be to have an archive or a collection of stories for an organization created that not only is important to them, but they can bring in leaders and community activists and show them that content that they've created and that is housed here or housed someplace else. But to me, the importance is that we've created something, something that's living, something that's sustaining for that organization. And, and if, if that's done, for me, I, I feel like I, I've done my job, but I want to keep them engaged with the center and coming back and wanting to work with us and wanting to tell other people about us. And, that one component of that is offline, but the important piece for me is the online engagement that spurs the offline action. Yeah.